Hello guys, welcome back to S3D, and today we're going to talk about GI Joes. Yes, uh, this is actually one that I owned, uh, one of my prized possessions back in the day. Uh, I actually got rid of all my GI Joes, uh, I think in the uh, late 90s when I got into uh, airsoft guns. And uh, yeah, uh, basically I sold off all my GI Joe figures to fund uh, my airsoft collection, which I think was a big mistake. But anyway, uh, what's done is done, you know. Uh, so this is, uh, uh, I'm here on 3D Joes, obviously, looking at these uh, G.I. Joe figures, uh, vehicles from the uh, 80s and the 90s. So uh, this one here is the 1993 Monster Blaster APC uh, for the uh, Mega Marines line. Uh, this is actually a pretty fun line. I really... Uh, enjoy this line because uh, they have those like uh, play-doh molded armor system basically uh yeah uh well we'll talk about the figures later but uh it, it's pretty interesting and uh, it's very colorful and it's highly inspired by uh i guess kind of like aliens or something like that like i swear gung ho is wearing like the same helmet as sergeant upon from aliens or something, it's it's weird, man, and some of the characters actually look like they are from Aliens, so they're different color scheme. But yeah, this is the uh, uh, the Monster Blaster, which is an armor uh, personnel carrier, APC, and uh, you can see it's got a humongous lock and low missile firing cannon. Uh, the thing with these cannons is that, you know, they uh, the spring will wear out over time, and then they just gets kind of sucky. This one isn't too bad. Uh, the other ones, like the uh, the Cobra Ice Snake and the Mudbuster that I had, were just very problematic with the spring wearing out. And uh, back then, you know, kids don't really know how to like fix their stuff. And uh, yeah, it just sucks. You end up with like a you know just a broken vehicle or something. But yeah, this one never had. I never had any issue with this one. I thought this one was actually pretty cool. And uh, it's got some nice features, like you got the uh, the lock and load <laughs> missile firing cannon, you got the turrets on the side, you got the uh, you know the driver's seat, you got the other gunner up front. It just overall looks like a pretty cool vehicle. It's just like the complaint people have is like the color scheme, like this freaking weird neon color. But it goes with the Mega Marines, like they they are like just you know they have like this weird '90s color scheme fighting like weird toxic mutant monsters and stuff like that yeah it's a it's a pretty solid vehicle you know it's got some cool gimmicks uh i don't know in the 90s i thought these were cool uh really cool because uh these was the only product that's available at the store shelf and then later i discovered like you know the stuff on the 80s that you know some of the older folks has you know, like my friend's older brothers, they have like the stuff on the 80s. And I realized the 80s stuff are actually a lot cooler than the 90s. Because during the 90s, uh, that, I think that's when G.I. Joe started to decline. And then uh, the Hasbro started coming out with these half-assed designs. That, you know, <laughs> people, apparently, uh, older folks say, like, we have a poor taste when, we come, when it comes to, like, you know, G.I. Joe products. And I didn't know what they were talking about. But yeah, I, I, I kind of see it, you know, comparing the 90s stuff to the 80s stuff. Yeah, these things definitely seems like, you know, they, they, they didn't put a lot of thought into it. But honestly, I think this one's actually pretty cool. Apparently, there are two versions. There's like a darker green version and a lighter green version. It's kind of like they swapped the color palette. But yeah, I think these are cool. Uh, probably nice to own multiple of these. Uh, just so I could have an army of these vehicles. Probably repaint them, actually. Yeah, if I have one uh, in 2022, I would definitely repaint these into a more realistic military color scheme than these having this weird neon yellow color gimmick. <laughs> and yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the blueprints. We have the blueprints. This is where you put the stickers. Yeah, Mega Marines, huh? Like... What are you, like, the Marines are more Marines than Marines? <laughs> what a concept. Yeah. It's like aliens, they have the Colonial Marines. And now uh, here we have the Mega Marines. 
Okay, so that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, yeah, uh, if you guys like this content, make sure you go to uh, 3djoes.com and support them. Uh, they sell, uh, you know, stuff to uh, keep the website running. It's a very, very nice resource. I'm glad I discovered this website. Thanks for watching, guys.